so why kind of why impose um, something else on top um, yeah then you know sort of a I guess some of the other things where, where you know a number a number of countries see see these um, legally binding processes as as a possibility to gain um, additional financing or additional funding from um, let's say the the greater the common block to um, um, and you know support their forest uh, industries or activities and then yeah as I as I mentioned earlier just briefly earlier the um, one of the overriding um, sort of concerns or interests is is basically what what is the European Parliament up to um, and that I know from most of the people that I've spoken to that's been a huge concern and, and interest. They're, they're very interested in that. Um, so I guess sort of coming back to the, just coming back briefly to the, um, the what I've called the compelling interest, sort of what, I guess, what happens when kind of these interests meet. Um, and uh, we've sort of divided, we sort of kind of came up with two I guess two classifications. So there's kind of substance, um, kind of conflict, um, and then there's let's say procedural type conflict. So the first, the first two, um, the protection versus production, is is definitely sort of a content, a content type, um, um, I guess conflict or intersection. Um, and the, I guess the the interests and, and fears of, of some of them is that you know in attempting is, is, I guess comes down to sustainable forest management. So in, in attempting to sort of legally um, standardize the operation um, of SFM, there's, there's a lot of fears that it'll, it will actually get sort of watered down even, even more um, and, and sort of end up basically be, meaning nothing. Um, and that's sort of the, the, the kind of the prime prime concern or interest of a lot of the, the environmental groups. Um, then sort of the, the subsidiarity um, uh, sovereignty issue. Um, again, a lot of a lot of the a lot of the people that we've spoken to and, and some of the documents kind of hint towards that again that can kind of you know the, the any agreement that's actually reached will um, could be potentially watered down so much that you know the the agreement itself actually means nothing. It's it's basically back to status quo with uh, with the individual individual countries um, 